Hands up, lovers! I'm Kaylee from the 2001 and 2002 casts of Zoom. I cannot believe that it's been almost 20 years since I've done this. That's so crazy. Um, I now work as a performer on Broadway, a musical theater performer on Broadway in New York City. But right now I'm actually home at my parents' house and they have kept all of my costumes from Zoom, if you can believe it. So today I figured that I would wear for you my original Zoom costume so that we can make one of my favorite cafe Zooms together, which is the frozen pineapple pop. Delicious. <laughs> now I chose this recipe because number one, it involves chocolate. And who doesn't love chocolate? Am I right? Number two, the ingredients I uh, used to make this are things that you probably already have in your kitchen. And if you don't, no sweat. You can use whatever you do have in your kitchen. Use your imagination, let your creativity run free. This is all about having fun and making something delicious to eat, yeah? Okay, here's what you need. Um, pineapple rings, I got mine out of a can. No need to be fancy. You need some strawberries with the tops cut off, kids. If you're doing that at home, please be careful or ask an adult to help you. The best ingredient, melted chocolate. Look at this ooey gooey chocolate. Can you guys see? Oh, I can't wait to eat this. You can use whatever kind of chocolate you have in your house. My parents had dark chocolate, so that's what I'm using today. Then you need some skewers. And if you don't have skewers, don't worry. You can just use your fingers and dip the fruit into the chocolate. It's gonna taste just as good, I promise. Next, you'll need a baking sheet with some wax paper on it. And if you don't have any wax paper, this is actually a cool tip. If you have cereal boxes, you know those bags that are inside the cereal boxes? That's pretty much the same thing as wax paper and it will work just as well. So when you're done with your cereal, slice that bag up, put it on a baking sheet, and you're good to go, yeah? All right, let's get making these pops. Or let's get popping. <laughs> That's what I should say. Let's get popping. Okay, step one. Very simple, we're going to take our pineapple rings and lay them out on our baking sheet. One, two, three. All right, I'm gonna make one for me, one for my mom, and one for my dad. Next, we take these strawberries and put them in the center of your pineapple. Let's find another little strawberry, perfect. And with that, step one, already done, easy peasy. Okay, step two, we take our skewer and you're going to carefully and gently press the skewer into the very edge of the pineapple ring through the strawberry and through the other side. Now, I am not a professional skewer of pineapples, <laughs> though it may seem like I am. No, um, this is not a perfect science. And sometimes the pineapple will split when you're pushing the skewer through. If that happens, don't stress. We're gonna pop them in the freezer in just a minute and um, it will harden itself back together. So no worries if for whatever reason your pineapple splits. Okay, once we have our pops skewered like so, we're gonna stick those in the freezer so that they harden. And that will take about an hour. So I have some already frozen. Let me just do the switcheroony. Here we go, into the freezer. Okay, perfect. I have frozen pops to work with. It's time for the dunk, the chocolate bath. So you're gonna take your pop, flip her upside down, and then dip it in your chocolate. And you wanna fill it probably halfway with chocolate. Dunk it halfway point. But you know what? If you love chocolate and you wanna dip it all the way, then go for it. Why not? Ooh, look at it dripping. I can't wait to eat this. I'm gonna try to keep it neat in my mom's kitchen so I don't get in trouble here. <laughs> Woo! Okay, so here you have a choice to make. You can either put your pops back in the freezer to harden the chocolate so it makes a nice shell, like this one I showed you at the beginning that I made, or if you are impatient like me and just wanna cut to the chase and eat your treat, like I'm gonna do right now, then it's time to dig in. Take your pop and take a big old bite. Mm. Oh, that's so good. Mm, 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 mm. The pineapple is chilly. The chocolate is warm and delicious, fabulous. Well, I cannot wait to share these with my family. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe and that you share it with your loved ones. Babon Abba Papa Tubby.